Sierra Droid. We have another update for Sierra Droid and which is Android 11. Yes, you heard it right. In 2023, we have Android 11, but we have the latest security update with some latest features from Android 13. And now we are getting Android 13, uh, but we are using Android 11 here. And why I am doing the review? Because this is really, really amazing to use. And one important thing, if you don't have any issues with Android version, then of course you can use this custom ROM. So let's get it started. First of all, let me show you from the settings and I don't want to waste your time, I will make it short. So here is the about section, let me show you at a glance, here you guys can see Android 11, we have here Android version 7.27, Android security update, February 5, 2023, from this month. As it is based on lineage OS, so stability is a mandatory thing here. And we have Android security update February 5, I already talked about it. And kernel, of course, we have the lineage OS kernel as it is based on lineage OS. Then we have the build number. Now get back and let me show you that you guys already know about the Android 11 user interface. And this is the setting user interface uh, like as before. And then we have the system and this ROM comes with uh, vanilla so th th there is no G apps inbuilt you guys need to download G apps I recommend you guys to use the Nick apps uh, I will provide the link in description just download that Nick apps and flash and then we have the gesture option but we don't have any navigation bar system here because we will get it on CR Droid settings as it is just like this you guys can select system profile as usual just like lineage OS and we will get by default as it is uh, a, um, without G apps built, so we will get AOSP based custom ROM. Uh, sorry, AOSP based keyboard. And we have the CR Droid setting. Let's talk about it. Use customization is here. So, status bar icons and clock style, clock and date. You guys already know about that. And network traffic and monitor is perfectly working. No issues with that. And here you guys can see it's working. And you guys can see like the display mode, upload and download, whatever you want actually. And then we have the high arrows and traffic measurement units, bytes per second or kilobyte per second or megabyte per second. Which one you like, you guys can get it. And we have old style signal icon, just like Android 13 and data disable indicator. If you need that, you guys can enable. And 4G roaming indicator and we have the Bluetooth battery status, a Volti icon, Vo Wi-Fi icon, and Vo over override icon, Vo Wi-Fi battery style here. We have some customization. Then we have the battery percentage and battery bar customization as usual. If you want to customize it, you guys can do according to your choice. And brightness control and other things. Then we have the quick settings as usual. Uh, columns, portrait, four, rows, two. Uh, you guys can customize it according to your choice. Uh, rows or portrait mode if you need more just like this i already did it you guys can make it short and make it long whatever you need i already make it a four if i make it three it will be like this so this is cool i think let it be like this then we have the tile title just like remove it display the title below each line display the title we will get that actually it will be hidden if we need it then we have to enable that one it's like this now we have the title then we have the tint qs styles if you enable the tech styles icon color use primary system color for qs styles icon which is really really great and we have the latest features of this from android 13 and we have here the data uses which is from android 13 as usual and we have the customization like daily uses or monthly uses which one you would like then we have the battery location qs panel or uh, status bar quick status bar wherever you want you guys can select then as usual status bar opacity how how much you want you guys can select as usual brightness bar slider when show always and the position footer alerts use kind of customizations there and then we have the lock screen customization as usual background blur background opacity and weather media art and charging animation uh, we have drop explosion and water uh, i don't have a charger right now here i can't show you right now you guys will get this uh, feature just like MIUI. and we have the battery info and double tap to sleep fingerprint authentication everything is fine working i already checked and now we have the navigation if you want to uh, I change it you guys can do from here just a navigation bar customization i am using at the peel bar you have the customization of peel bar you guys can change it uh, make it increase or decrease the size of it 
then we have the long swipe option and back gesture everything is here as it is a navigation bar so we have buttons here and power menu which is necessary advanced restart menu is there then we have the user interface and if you want to take partial screenshot as it is you guys can do that as well and we have the user interface ambient display is working if you need i don't recommend to use that feature because it will drain your battery and display cutout we don't need that because as it is it is fine rounded corner preference switch style telegram i am using right now and navigation bar style default asus whatever you need techno canon cam on whatever navigation bar style and setting in styles uh, cosmos and divider circle quick setting style style let me show you ink i am selecting the ink um, here is that this is the customization signal bar customization wi-fi bar customization i already did it and, and i already showed it so this is really really cool and setting dashboard icons just like this accent background which one you want actually you can select then we have the notification as usual notification ticker wherever you want to show and we guys can select here the blink disable a flashlight on call whatever everything and i actually bored of it the customization huge it's huge actually just flash and check one by one and we have the miscellaneous here cpu info if you enable this one and you will get the cpu info here and gaming mode as usual of course you guys can do better gaming in that custom room as usual and screenshot sensor pocket detection screen screenshot quality you guys can increase and decrease the quality then we are done about the shared drive settings we have the security option now we have the app lock face unlock and of course everything is there fingerprint and fingerprint is super fast no issues with that i already checked about that and display setting as usual live display and lock screen double tap to wake and we can plug enable bars everything is there and styles and wallpapers as it is android 11 so it will be like this we have by default some wallpapers of shared droid wallpapers and we have styles and grid and clocks whatever you want i'm using here the samsung bold these are really really cool things and we have the battery system uh, battery setting here the ui is really really cool then we have the network settings as usual you guys already know now let's talk about the call recording option which is available or not let me show you and here you guys can see auto call recording is there so by default you guys will get that amazing feature if you want to record phone calls you guys can do that as as usual this is really cool so you guys can record here is the recording call option perfectly working no issues now let's talk about the smoothness and we have the uh, wallpaper zooming option here android 11 feature which is perfectly working here you guys can see which is really really great everything is perfect now let me show you one thing the battery backup is really really great 11 pm at night i just kept my device idle i stopped using my device and now uh 5 55 before few minutes back i took another screenshot and battery was 58 percent at night 11 and 5 55 pm battery 57 percent only one percent battery day in 18 hours more than 18 hours i guess so this is really amazing and let me show you another thing cpu throttling this is this is also cool 82 percent and if i try to use this right now if i run that test right now i will get more than 82 percent um, and i ran it for five minutes with 100 threads not normal one this is really cool now let's talk about the safety net issue safety net is passed by default due to internet issue it's very very slow right now yes it's working and you guys can easily use any banking application no issues with that and by default you will get that music player and now let's talk about the important thing very important thing if you are really wor worried about gcam let's talk about this gcam is perfectly working and i already 
taken some photos and it's perfectly working so you guys can see it's working so no issues like android 13 you guys can easily use any kind of gcam no problem with that i already tested now let's talk about the setting that means the launcher by default you are we are getting this one and hidden and protected application you guys will get that feature you guys can hide any applications no problem and icons by default you guys will get that icon pack and if you want to use any custom icon pack then click on the plus button and download and enjoy then we have the home screen as usual the regular customization from android 11 we have that features okay then we have the app drawer background opacity can be changed and miscellaneous i already showed it so these are the things and this is the ui of course android 11 so i recommend you guys to use and perfectly working very very smart custom rom this one so if you are not really tensed about android version right now in 2023 then of course you can go with that because we have redmi 7 which is not really capable of uh, higher android version uh, because these are really really heavier and android 11 android 10 is less heavier that's why it can handle better that's why i recommend to use that custom rom if you are really looking for a custom rom so thank you for watching